everyone. I'm here today to show you how to use the keyboard plugin to map input functions to your keyboard. You might be thinking, I already use my keyboard to jog. Tell me something I don't know. But did you know you can customize which keys allow you to jog which axes and how you want to jog them? You can also map input functions to your keyboard in order to simulate signals. This can be very useful for testing functions that require input signals. To start, you need to enable the plugin. To enable, go to Configure, Control, Plugins, and click here to enable. If you already have a green check mark, you're already enabled and good to go. Once it's enabled, we do need to restart Mach 4. Once Mach 4 is reloaded, we can start configuring our keyboard to do all sorts of cool things. This time, we'll go to Configure, Plugins, Keyboard Inputs. As you can see, there are some default functions already set up. These are what allow you to jog your machine with your keyboard. Let's break down what you're seeing in this window. The first column allows you to assign an input name. You can pick whatever you'd like here to describe this input. The next column is how you'll assign a key to your function. Once you click in this column, you can then hit the key you want to use. The next three columns allow you to assign a shift, alt, or control requirement. That allows you to assign a function to a certain key and only activate it if the shift, alt, or control key is pressed at the same time. This can be used for additional safety because it's harder to accidentally jog, or you can use one key for up to four functions. In the next column, you can choose to assign a lock key. You'll only be able to use your chosen key to perform its chosen function if the lock key is activated. The last column includes a drop-down list of jogging functions you can choose from. These include the standard axes and out-of-band axes, as well as options for continuous, incremental, and rapid jogging. You'll also notice that you can select none as an option. That is what you'll select if you're mapping an input signal to a specific key, which I'll show you how to do next. If I were writing a macro that uses a probe and I wanted to test it without risking my crazy expensive and completely hypothetical probe, I could map that to my P key and pretend a successful probe strike has been made. To start, I'm going to click add, and then I'm going to name this new input, which I'm going to call probe, super creative. Now, if I click here, it tells me to select and I can hit whatever key I want. In this case, I'm gonna hit the P key. I'm not going to designate a shift or an alt or a control requirement. I'm just going to leave it simple at P, and I don't need a lock either. Now what I'm going to do is choose none for my function, since I'm going to designate my own function, and then restart Mach 4. When Mach 4 reloads, I can go to Configure, Control, Input Signals, and find the probe function. Now I can enable mapping, choose the device, which is keyboard, and select my input name, which is probe. Remember, that's the name that I chose in the keyboard configuration menu previously. To test this, I need to enable keyboard inputs, which is in the jogging tab on this screen. I may also need to turn off the disabled keyboard icon in the tray down here. Now, if I go to diagnostics and hit my P key, you can see the probe LED respond. Now I can finish my testing and simply change the assignment of my probe in the input signals tab when I'm ready to use the real thing again. Now you can jog away, simulate input signals, and keep on customizing your Mach 4 experience. Stay safe, be creative, and as always, happy CNCing!